Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my first MIT App Inventor video and MIT App Inventor is an online tool used to create apps hence the name App Inventor so we're going to start by going to create I'll put a link in the description for this site so then we're going to sign in to your account and it'll just ask you if it, you want to use it so allow it and wait for this accept the terms of service and when it loads take survey later continue this will come up I haven't started any project yet under this name so we're going to start off by going to start new project in the top left hand corner and we're going to call this one hello world because today we'll be making a hello world app so when it loads, here you'll have your palette, where you can have buttons and drawing, ball, canvas, you can have cameras and you can have everything here. And then the viewer is what the screen looks like, components are what you have and the properties. So we're going to start off by going to screen 1 on the properties and changing that to hello world and we're going to go over here where it says scrollable and if that's checked just uncheck it because we don't need that and the screen orientation portrait because that's what we want and you can change the background color if you want to make it more interesting so you can have a black yellow for them now we're just going to keep it as white okay so now that we've got that we're going to go over to the palette and on user interface which is just above the layout one there you're going to get a button and drag and drop that on at the moment it says text for button one so we're going to go over and change that to hello and the font size to 20 so there we go you can make it bigger if you want we can up that size to 50 but then it won't fit in the button so 30 here we go and again we can change the color so we can have it pink for the text for the moment we're just gonna have we'll just have a black black text it's nice and easy and the background color you can make that pink you can make it anything so we'll just have it white so there we go blends in nicely with this and then we've got that done so that's the button we're going to click now we need something that's going to say hello world so we're going to go over and get a label drag and drop that on and again up the font size to 20 this one we may even make bigger so 30 and but for this we're going to delete the text so at the moment it looks like there's nothing there because that's what we want the user to see and when they click the button that will say hello world so now the coding part unfortunately it's not all drag and drop so go over to blocks but the thing that does make this easier is you don't have to write every code so you go on button one when button one dot click do and then label one and here you can change everything on this so set label one dot text is what we're going to want and it gives a nice click when it fits in and we're going to go over to text and this and we're going to call this hello world so when the button's clicked here that will say hello world and another trick we can add on to is if you go on to media and drag and drop text to speech this cannot be seen but we know it's there so if we go over, back over to blocks click on text to speech call text to speech dot speak and then 
duplicate that. So now I hear you asking, how do we know that this will work? Well, the wonder about this is that we can go over and test it on our phone. So we click connect and click on AI companion and with the app that I will show you, you scan it or type this code and you'll be able to test it. But so now I'm just going to stop the recording and show you how to test it. Hi guys, so now you've seen me code this, I'm going to now test this. So we're going to open up the app, which is, you can see, MIT App Inventor, the MIT A um, AI2 companion. And just before you do anything on this, you're going to go over here, scroll up and click connect at the top, if you can see that, and click on AI companion. Up comes this. So now you click scan QR code, and then wait for it to register it and then wait a while and then it will load and here we have this so I'm going to just turn up my volume there we go and I'm going to click hello hello world and there you go it says the words hello world and it speaks them so that's how to test it thank you very much for watching I hope this video helped you please like comment and subscribe